The step of love in my life, love, we think about it, sing about it, dream about it, lose sleep worrying about it. When we don't know we have it, we search for it. When we discover it, we don't know what to do with it. When we have it, we fear losing it. It is the constant source of pleasure and pain. But we don't know which it will be from one moment to the next. It is a short word, easy to spell, difficult to define, impossible to live without. Love is a better teacher than duty, Albert Einstein. It was the mid of February 2006. I was standing with my friend Sunil on my roof, top. I had completed graduation in engineering and used to help my brother in his business. Wanted to fly in sky, had high aims, but my health seemed to be a big deterrence in that. Me and Sunil used to talk about everything, politics, new trends, and girls, etc., 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 etc. I was having a look on the contact list in his mobile, and one number that struck was of a girl named Sonia. I asked him who the girl was. He told me that she was his classmate and now worked in airlines, and also that it was very difficult to handle her. Being a little bit overconfident, I told him that nothing is impossible. Next day, I sent her a message on her mobile phone, Hi. How are you? She called and asked me I know who you are. I got confused and asked, Are you Maya? Then simply kept the phone. Maya being the name of my best friend in college struck to me in haste. I again sent a message, Hi, I am Sunila's friend, can we be friends? She asked which Sunil? I replied, your classmate in masters. She replied, okay. Then I again asked her, can we be friends? She replied, yeah, as you are Sunila's friend, I am automatically your friend. I was very happy and excited that day. It was my first experience of a different type of friendship with a girl whom I had never seen. Being physically not fit I had, Always desired to be in company of a girl with whom I would have shared a special relationship like any other normal boy of my age. It is the stigma of Indian society that a person with any sort of disability is not accepted by a normal person of the opposite as a life partner or as a special friend. But I was very much excited about the girl without worrying about the impact of my disease on our relationship. Next day I sent her message, Hi, how are you? How was the day for you? She replied instantaneously, Good, I am fine. What about you? I replied, I am also fine. Do you have any boyfriend? She replied, I am not that type of girl, so Don T ever think like that. It made me laugh as every girl would say the same and was not at all surprised. At that stage of life, I was very hard-hearted man, without love for anyone and not much for my family even. I only thought of my own pleasures, at whatever cost it may be. I had no 
idea that life was going to change and which would make me so soft-hearted. So I started interacting with Sonia very frequently, but only through messages on phone as I was too scared of talking to her directly and meeting also because I felt that if we meet then she would have come to know about my physical condition. She messaged me at 10 p.m. and asked, where are you? I replied, I was busy finding job for me on internet. She replied, talk to me, dear. I asked, so, what do you think about me? She replied, you are a friend with whom I can share anything, anytime, and who will be there by my side whenever I need. This touched my heart, and I am unable to express my feelings at that moment. I didn't t know what had happened to me that night. I was so happy without knowing reason for the same. Everything seemed so, so beautiful. Life after that seemed so exciting and beautiful that I did not worry about my health condition, and consequences of the same. We used to chat through messages on mobile phone for one month, and I didn't t know even how her voice sounded. I was hesitant in talking to her, and I think she also felt the same. One day my friend Rohit asked me if there was someone who could tell about the fare of airlines as he had to go to Bangalore for interview. I said, yes, one of my friends is in airlines and I called her. I said hi, she had not expected my call. So hesitantly she replied hi, I asked one of my friends has to go to Bangalore, so can you please tell me the fair? She replied in a low tone, yeah, I will let you know tomorrow. I replied, okay. It was a strange experience of talking to a girl with whom I had good friendship, but only through messages. Through messages we came to know well about each other. We cared for each other but on voice call it seemed as if we were strangers to each other. Next day, she called me up and told about fares of airlines and asked me to repeat what she was told by her. I replied hesitantly, but was not in order. She gave a laugh and cut the call. It was a great experience that she shared her laugh with me. I messaged her your laugh is very beautiful. She replied, thanks, but I was very much scared while talking to you. Don, Tino, why I replied me too, and that SYI, didn't he remember what was said by you? Then next day I called her and talked to her. Now I was bit less hesitant in talking to her. I was feeling some energy in my body. I didn't t know from where it came. I felt as if some angel had stepped into my life and gave some meaning and strength to it. That night, she called me at 1 a.m. I was very much surprised on getting call. We talked till five in morning. She asked me about my family, etc., etc. I asked her to cut the call, but she kept on telling that she was not feeling sleepy and wanted to talk to me. That day I realized that. Sonia had something for me, and she really cared for me. But I could not gather courage to tell her about my health and about my inabilities. 
I was scared of telling her these things as I was afraid losing her. For the first time I blamed God and medical science for my sufferings. It was my biggest mistake that I did not tell her the reality. Though I was getting the care and love of a girl, which I had never ever experienced in my life, but sometimes I felt that I was playing with her feelings. A thought was also there in my mind that true, love never cares about anything or it does not have any condition. Sometimes I used to ask myself whether it is possible for a person to love another without even seeing her or him. Is this the love? Love with the voice only. But whatever I felt for her cannot be explained in words, then what was it? No one has defined love. Love is not the terminology, but a feeling for someone, for whom you care. So I was experiencing new excitement in my life. We used to talk once during the daytime and once at night, after dinner. I got selected in one of the competitive examination for the entry in a post-graduation course. I called her hi dear. I got selected in competitive exam for PG course. She replied congrats. I have full faith in your abilities. But she said in a sad mood now as you are going out of city, will you forget me? I replied, no, dear. How could I forget my dearest friend and it is because of you that I passed the examination?